This video will show you the basics for setting up V-type cylinder blocks in the DSF 1500 and 2000 fixtures. When unpacking, save the four hold-on plates that hold the fixture to the shipping crate. They are used to hold the windfield fixture to your resurfacing machine's table. Install the lifting bar in the middle of the fixture with the center holding pins extended. Tighten an additional one half turn after the datum plates touch the lifting bar. Mill or grind minimum off the datum plates. Each time the fixture is removed, the datum plates need to be machined to ensure accuracy of the fixture. Line up the saw cut in the spacer plate with the end of the parallel. This will put the main bores in the center of the fixture. Place the parallels with the spacer plates on the fixture and open the fixture up. Move the parallels toward the ends of the fixture. Install the plate spacer bars and square the parallels. Tighten the parallels to the fixture. Now tighten the plates to the parallels and remove the plate spacer bars. Place rollover bar in main saddles. Be careful that the notches in the bar are under any part of the rear main seal that is smaller than the main housing bore. Install block bar hold on between block bar and center main cap. Snug down two socket head cap screws to keep the block stable when resurfacing. Screw the block jack boss in the centermost head bolt hole. Install block rollover bar over block jack boss and snug in place with four spoke hand knob and large flat washer. Hoist block into fixture. Move block as close to center without the pan rail touching the fixture. Place level on block and adjust the screws on each end of the block jack bar to level the block. Turn level lengthwise on block. Adjust level of block with set screws in each end of rollover bar. Do not spread rollover bar more than 100 thousandths on each end. Install block rollover bar hold downs on each end of bar and snug down. Recheck level of block and adjust as needed. Block is not ready to surface. 